Yeah, it's weird. It's like drifting and why is it drifting to the left so much? Come on back, come on back. Ooh, kill it. No cars. Windy? I don't feel wind. No, oh, I got a correct but Forward and right, forward and right, forward and right. Hmm, something's wrong with this. I feel like I should have this, I shouldn't be fighting it this much. Look at that, just drift. I mean, the tracking looks so weird. Crash. Ah, oh, I broke it already. <laughs> Guaranteed. Okay. First flight. Guaranteed to crash. What did I say? So I got some damage here. Um, first sign of damage is this one wire here has come off this little PCB here. So I'm gonna have to solder that back on. I'm gonna make sure. I hope the boom's not broken. Uh, it is split. I do see the wire. I don't want to pull on too much, but I want to get it out of here so it's not pinched in there like that. There we go. Um, okay. Wow, what's kind of crazy is did it get it pushed itself that far in? Oh, that's the end of the boom, or am I missing a piece? No, oh, I think this part got pushed in too. Yeah. I'm gonna actually try gluing that back together. I think if I use something like epoxy to get that together, it might be able to hold. I just gotta maybe pull these wires back through a little and solder this on, and hopefully I'll be back up and flying soon. Damn, that was quick. <laughs> second battery pack, second hover. I sure do crash a lot. And it was kind of weird to fly at night. Um, one of the weird parts was basically just not the orientation but the I guess when I fly I watch the uh, the blades and the rotor head and see kind of like what angles at as I make my corrections and um, I don't know with LEDs and stuff it's easier but harder I don't know how to describe it but let me try to work on this and get this back and fix if not I'll order the part Hopefully there are parts. I think this is relatively new. And um yeah, we'll go from there. Okay. Alright, thanks for watching. <laughs>